Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Thanks for joining me. I am still reeling that the Broncos won the Super Bowl. So excited for Peyton. And I, and I hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl. Don't be a hater now. <laughs> Today I'm going to share with you a tip that's been in AutoCAD for a really long time, but I find that only the veterans know about it. If you've ever been in a situation where you've wanted to repeat the same command over and over again, I want to draw a bunch of circles, I want to draw a bunch of arcs, or I want to do a bunch of breaks or fillets, whatever the situation is, you don't want to have to keep hitting enter to repeat the last command. I'm going to show you, show you a cool tip, all right? There is a command that's been in AutoCAD since the beginning of AutoCAD time <laughs> called multiple. Um, it's a lot to type in. It'll start to populate once you get to that P. It's going to figure out what you want to do, but quite a bit to type in. So we're going to show you how to get around that. But first off, let me show you the command. So you'll see it says enter the command name to repeat. All right, well, let's, how about um, an arc? Maybe I want to draw a whole bunch of arcs. So here I'll draw one. All right, and then you'll see it automatically repeats the arc command once again. Just keeps doing it until you're tired of drawing arcs. And then when you are tired of drawing arcs and you want to break out of that multiple mode, all you have to do is hit an escape. Easy peasy, super easy. All right, let's let me show that to you again. How about with like the uh, the break command? Let's go back into multiple. You'll see once again, it takes a while to populate. And let's type in break. If you're a typer, then you know mine. Type fist. Now I'm going to go ahead and break this object and this object and so on and so forth. Very easy to work with. It just keeps me in there once again until I hit an escape to break that multiple cycle. All right, so if you don't mind typing, then you're okay with it. I suppose if I was going to do another multiple right now, I could just use my up arrow key, right, to get back to multiple. Wouldn't have to type it in. But more than likely, you were probably doing a bunch of other commands before you needed to do another multiple. So what I would do, I would suggest to you that you either put it on a toolbar or you put it on a panel on the ribbon. A couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to do that. I'm going to show you again now. You can see my <laughs> lens panel up here um, of some of my favorite commands. And we're going to add multiple to that. So all we have to do is click on that and then tell it the AutoCAD command that we want it to repeat over and over again. All right, so just a quick little reminder on how that's done. We're going to go into the CUI command, great big huge command, and we're going to go back down to ribbon, and I'm going to go to panels, and let's go back and find my panel, my amazing panel. Oh yeah, which is at the very bottom, of course. There is Lynn's panel. All right, and I really only had one row, and I only had a few commands in there, but what I want to do is I want to add multiple onto there so I can use it very easily without having to type all of that in. Okay, you could also make an alias for it if you wanted to, if that made it like, you know, you can decide how you want to go about it. But this is a nice, easy way of being able to access it ever so quickly. All right, now i got to go find the command in the command list, right? There it is, multiple. And then we're just going to drag and drop that right up here somewhere onto your panel, wherever you want it to go. All right, and it takes a little bit of a second there to repopulate, so it shows you what your toolbar looks like. All right, I'm going to save that, say OK, give it just a second to think, and here I have in my panel, there is my multiple. So now if I want to do multiple circles, I can just click on that multiple. When it asks me for the name of the command to repeat, then I can just do a C for circle, and then I can go ahead and draw circle after circle after circle after circle. I feel you'll probably use it more for editing commands that you want to keep going into to make changes, but you'll also find that it comes in handy for repeating objects that you are creating or drawing. Okay, all right, super cool command. Remember the multiple command. You're going to decide the easiest and fastest way for you to get to it. Um, and I, I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Have a great rest of the week.